Good morning. Today is uh, Friday. It is the fifth day of the year. And last night we counted 20 days to the Omer. And we continue on chapter 46 in the Tanya. So, yesterday, al Rebbe taught, taught us in the lesson about that there, uh, there is a way which is very, very near to every person, no matter who, to get to develop a feeling of love to God. He calls it very, very near. And the question is why? What does it mean very, very near? Very easy to achieve this level of developing love to Hashem. So, if you remember the previous chapters, as we mentioned yesterday, the previous chapters that the Rebbe says, he gives us a whole um, list of what we, which way we can achieve this level of love to Hashem, whether it is through meditation and the greatness of Hashem, whether it is through feeling that God is our life. So all of this, are different ways of achieving, the, developing a love and emotions, love and fear to Hashem. But in order to achieve this, it takes it takes some kind of a spiritual refinement to be able to send something spiritual rather than physical. And therefore, the more refined you are the more you have a chance of developing this, this feeling of love and fear of Hashem. The more holy you are, the more spiritual you are, the, the less coarse and material you are, the more you have a chance of developing this feeling of love and fear of Hashem. But what that al Rebbe is teaching us in this chapter is just on the contrary which is the more coarse you are, the more you're able to develop this feeling of love to Hashem. Sounds crazy, right? What does that mean? If you're coarse, if you're materialistic, it should be the opposite. Here the Alter Rebbe says no. That the, core, the more low spiritual you are, the more you're able to develop the feeling of love to Hashem. So how does that work? And the Rebbe explains in this chapter what Alter Rebbe says. He says, because the, what he's using, the method he's using is kamayim upon him upon him. And we started talk, to talk about it yesterday, that when you have a certain feelings towards someone, it triggers a corresponding feeling, which is also very, maybe simplistic, but very good advice also in relationship between people. If two people are upset at each other, and obviously when you're upset, the other person gets upset also, you get the, the, uh, the corresponding feelings. And this, God forbid, can pull you to pull the two apart further and further. But sometimes, if one party goes over and, and has um, an, an approach of a loving approach, showing the love to the other party, that can break the ice. That can make the other person, and usually does, Break the ice when you, you see that your, your other party is not what you thought, is not really uh, angry, is not really, it doesn't really hate you. On the contrary, it shows love to you. That itself breaks the person and, 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 it, and it triggers a feeling, a corresponding feeling, a positive feeling in the other person. So this says the Alter Rebbe, this is what King Solomon says. Kamayim apanim el apanim king leva adam el adam. Just like the reflection of the of the face in the water, you smile, smiles back. 
you frown, it frowns back. The same thing is the heart of humans. And that is also, Al Rebbe says, this is even, um, even if you don't show it, if, only if you have it in your heart. We understand it from the words Al Rebbe. He says, especially if you show it. So even if you don't show it, if you just have it in your heart, a feeling of a positive feeling, that triggers a corresponding feeling by the per- other person. But if, but especially if you show it, this is also it says uh, about Yehuda and Yosef. You remember the story when Yehuda was approaching Yosef, Aikash El of Yehuda, when he was asking to begging for his brother Binyamin. So one of the commentators explained that Yehuda, what he was doing then, obviously then he thought that Yosef was an enemy, wanted to take the, away the, the brother. He didn't know that this was his own brother. So he approached Yehuda, he approached Yosef, meaning he wanted to show care for Yosef. My Igash Eil of Yehuda, Yehuda approached him. And that approaching him was for the purpose of creating in Yosef a feeling of compassion as well, because that's the way it works. So here says the Alter Rebbe, using this understanding in the human condition, the nature of people, this is true even if, it, if the two parties that we're talking about, they are on equal levels. So when one person shows love to the other person, it, it creates an, a corresponding feeling. Now says the Alter Rebbe, imagine if, imagine if a person who is in a very, very low level, dirty, in the darkness, in the, in, in, in the, the most dirty places, is a very low person himself, and yet a king, a very high, exalted king comes to him, comes to the person. And he takes him from his place. He comes, imagine the king comes with his entourage and he sees a person, a homeless person sitting in the corner and he drops everything and he takes that person and he takes him in his private, in his private car and he takes him to his palace and he takes him to the most intimate places, and we're talking about the showing him real love, real care, real love, says the Alter Rebbe, imagine what kind of corresponding feeling that low person would feel. That low person would feel so much love to the person, even, even if that person may be a bitter person, maybe a person who, is, who doesn't have any feelings you can usually people in, in a very hot, dire circumstances, they do have a, a, a dullness in the heart. They, they're already bitter in the whole world. They don't feel, they can't feel compassion or, or, they, or they can feel, perhaps they cannot feel uh, love to other people. You shouldn't blame them. But says al Rebbe, even a person who does not have, he has a heart of stone. His heart will melt with love towards the king that showed him so much benevolent and love. This, therefore, this is that what the Alter Rebbe is going to say, that the same way, this is what each one of us should feel. And that's why we said the lower a person is morally, spiritually, the more love you can develop. Because when you realize what Hashem comes to us, that we'll explain in tomorrow's year, that when you realize what God does to us, when he comes from, we are in such a low place and Hashem comes and he gives us the ability to connect, he lifts us up. So the lower we are, the more we appreciate the great distance that God went from the highest places come down to the lowest place where we are and to lift us up. So let's look inside. The Alter Rebbe says, "Vehine says the Alter Rebbe zeu teva no bemidas kol adam 
af im shneim shovim b'mayla. He says this, such is the common nature in the character of every man It says, even when they are in equal in status, that when pers- one person shows love, there is automatically a, a corresponding feeling. How much more so is this the case in Melech Godel Verav Mare Ahavasa Yagdolova Tsumo, the Ished Yed Venivze. If a great man, if a great and mighty king who rules over many lands displays his great and intense love for a commoner who is despised and lowly among men, a disgraceful creature cast on the dung, dung hill. You can imagine a person reached such a level and here the king of all king, the king, a mighty king comes and attends to that person. Yet he, the king, comes down to him from the place of his glory together with all of his ret- um, retinue whatever it means, the ministers, all of his entourage. And he raises him and exalts him from his dunghill. And he brings him into his palace, the royal palace. And within the palace itself, he leads him into the innermost chamber. A place such as no servant nor Lord ever enters. Because you know in the palace there are certain places that a servant cannot go in, but the ministers can go in. And there are other places that the ministers cannot go in, but a servant can go in, you know, if he needs to clean the place, whatever. But yet there are certain places where not a minister and not a servant is allowed. Like, for example, the, the treasure that the king has, the, that nobody is allowed inside. He has his most precious treasures kept in that place. So no one is allowed in there. And yet the king, the king takes this person that was in such a low place in the dunghill and he lifts him up and he brings him into his palace. And where does he bring him into that very same room that no one else, not a minister and not a servant is allowed in? And what does he do there? And there, he shares with him the closest companionship. With mutual embraces and, and kisses and attaches, attachment of spirit to spirit, to the whole, to the, uh, with the whole heart and soul. You can imagine this kind of love that the king shows to that low person. So when a mighty king shows such great affection and and companionship to such a lowly person, then what happens? What is the feeling that this low person would feel? How much more so will there be aroused of itself a doubled and redoubled love in the heart of this most common and humble individual? El nefesh for the person of the king. 
בעסקשוס הנפש ממש מלב ונפש ומעומקה דלי בלין קיץ. And that love would be with a true attachment of spirit from the heart and soul, from the infinite depth of, of his heart. It wouldn't be a, just a show. Just, it would be a real feeling when the king does such a thing to you. It will be correspond, automatic correspond, corresponding feeling of a real, true love to that king. Even if his heart would be like a heart of stone, which means he has a heart that is not easily roused to tender feeling of love for another. But in such situation, it will surely melt and become like water. And his soul will pour itself out like water. With soulful longing for the love of the king. You can, you can write a book, <laughs> just the description that the Alter Rebbe gives here, picturing this. In this metaphor, using the analogy of the king, showing so much love to, to so much love to a simple person, how much the corresponding feeling would be. And in Tamara Shir, the Alter Rebbe is going to say and explain with all the details how this metaphor is perfect with the examples what Hashem does to us. The, the high exalted king. We are in the lowest and the lowest places in Egypt. Hashem lifts us up and he gives us the opportunity to connect in the chambers which is uh, no one else is allowed. Not even the angels, the Torah, the mitzvahs, what Hashem gave us. This is the connection and the, the, the kissing and the hugging. The, the studying the Torah is the kissing, the hugging is doing the mitzvahs and so on and so forth. And Hashem gives us this opportunity. That is why the more coarse we are, the more we can appreciate that love, the more we can develop that love to Hashem because we appreciate that great love that Hashem gives to us. And that, that is why, says Delta Rebbe, that is easy. It's easy to achieve. Just think about this. Just have this image in your mind and you'll realize what Hashem does for us. And therefore, we love him back. And when Hashem doesn't care about any hurdles, any difficulties, so to speak, coming down to us, same thing, we should look away of our difficulties. So that we will continue Bezat Hashem on Sunday. So join us again. And don't forget, make sure to share this. And uh, should have a wonderful Shabbos. We'll see you on Sunday, Bezat Hashem. Any questions we can take now?